So, in my latest Twitch livestream, we were building a simple but very fun face recognition project. And the idea behind it is that you can find people that look like you. And there are other projects like that out there, so it's not an original idea by any means. But I wanted to see if I could build it with AWS recognition and React. Next JS to be more specific. In case you've never heard of AWS recognition, it is an AI service from AWS with pre-trained models that allows you to do a lot of cool AI related stuff with a simple to use API that they provide. You can do things like face recognition, inappropriate content detection, image object detections, celebrity face detection, and a lot of other cool stuff. So we started up the project with the usual create next app with TypeScript, of course, and by running npm run dev, we can see our app running. And now I needed to access the webcam from inside our app. And after Googling a little bit, I decided to go with the React Webcam package, since it seemed to be the most used one out there. After installing the package, I cleared the code from the sample homepage and added the webcam component. And just like that, we had our webcam working inside our browser. Now we need to take a picture with that webcam. By searching the documentation, it seemed that we should use an use callback hook to create our callback to take the screenshot. So that's what we did. I added the necessary ref and created the callback with the getScreenshot method. And to know what's coming out of it, we used console log to print it to the browser console. And it seemed to be a base64 image already formatted to be used in an image tag. To test it out, I created a state for the image and used it inside an image tag and voila! Just like that, we had our screenshot displayed on the screen. Now I was ready to start exploring with the AWS recognition service. To be honest, I've used this service before, on my old company on a hackathon project. But it was four years ago, so I needed some time exploring to remember how to use it. To start, we had to create a collection. To do that, we used the AWS CLI with the create collection command, and we named it find my twin. Now that we have our collection, we need to index our face inside it. To do that, we downloaded the picture we took from our app and used the index face command to put it in our collection. And then we took a new picture and used that to try to recognize it using the search face by image command. And by doing so, we got almost 100% similarity between the two pictures, even though the faces were in different angles. Okay, now that we were able to build the logic of the face recognition with the AWS CLI, we just need to create APIs to do the same thing from inside our app. And to do this, I use TRPC. If you don't know what TRPC is, it's a library created by Alex that makes building end-to-end TypeSafe APIs very easy. It's probably the most developer-friendly way to build APIs with TypeScript right now. So we follow the TRPC documentation to create a simple Hello World API in our project. Then we configure the TRPC client on our front end and used it to display a simple message in our homepage. With that, the setup was ready but we still need to use the AWS SDK inside our API. To do that, we installed the AWS SDK package into our project and added the environment variables to pass the credentials into the SDK. To test it out, we edited the Hello World API to try to print our S3 buckets inside our AWS account. By doing so, after we go to our homepage, we can see that our S3 buckets are logged into the terminal. Now that we have everything set up, we can start building our face recognition APIs. We started with the index face API. The input is the base64 image that we will get from our front end, but to use that in the index face method, we need to first remove the metadata that is in the beginning of the string, and then we need to convert it to a buffer, and we can finally pass it into the index face method. And for now, we used a fixed ID of random face just to test it out. To check it, we edited our hello world API again, this time to print out the faces inside the collection that we've created. And after adding the mutation to our button's front-end callback, we could successfully index our face and see the face data being outputted in the terminal. All right, we were able to index our face through the API. But unfortunately, the AWS recognition doesn't hold the actual image data inside of the collection. So we need to save that image somehow. Of course, we used S3 for that. So I created an S3 bucket called FindMyTwin with the AWS CLI and edited the API to save the image to the S3 bucket. 
and I also changed the face external ID to an UUID. And the image that we're gonna save to S3 is also using the UUID in the file name. After that, we were successfully saving our images to S3. Now I wanted to create the search face API. This is the API that will allow you to find faces of people that looks just like you. And while writing, guess what? GitHub Copilot basically wrote the whole API for me. That was actually mind blowing. Fun fact, I've been using GitHub Copilot for about one week now, and I gotta say, it's amazing. But yeah, after building the API, to test it out, I tried to add a new button to our front end and attach the new API to it. And when I test it out in the browser, we could see that my face was recognized with almost 100% similarity. So it's working, nice. Now I wanna be able to show the original image in the browser. To do that, I edited the response from the search face API to return the image data as well, and then use that to set a state on our React app and show it to the user. With that, the basic features of our app are complete, but we still have a very ugly design with it. To fix that, I decided to install Tailwind in our app and started to add some styling with it. And this is the result we've got. You can see here that I actually edited the API to return multiple results so that you can see yourself and people that look like you in the same response. Here I'm using my face twice to simulate someone that looks like me. With that, the only thing missing is deploying our app. To do this, we use Vercel. There was just one catch while doing it because Vercel doesn't allow us to use some environment variables that we would use to set up our AWS SDK in the cloud. So to fix that, we actually edited our code to look for the credentials from some custom environment variables. And then we set up those variables inside Vercel's console. And that's it, we were able to see our app in the cloud. And you can check it out, the link is in the description. Feel free to index your face and try to find someone that looks like you. Also, the whole code is public on GitHub. If you wanna try to use it in your own account, you can definitely do it. Oh, and I also index some famous people's faces, like Robert Downey Jr. from Iron Man and Tom Holland from Spider-Man. So if you show their picture on your webcam, you should be able to recognize their faces with our app. And there are still a lot of things that I wanna do with that app, like improving the UX and adding user authentication and some more cool features as well. If you wanna check me doing it live, be sure to check out my Twitch stream. And that will be the end of this video. If you liked it, be sure to like. And if you wanna see more of my content, be sure to subscribe as well. And that's it, hope to see you around. Matane!